And then three hours right before the NFL draft hits on Thursday, as we all know, <laughs> Adam Schefter reports that Aaron Rodgers is so pissed that he's told people within the building he doesn't intend to play for the Packers anymore. <laughs> and then that obviously sends things off the old rails. Here's the deal. I'm hearing this a lot over the last four days. Is it personal? Is it business? It's both. Okay? It's both. And here's what it seems to indicate to me. Aaron Rodgers has many different options right now. He could say, I want to go host Jeopardy, which he may re not really have a real shot at. As you know, they're, they're going through a ton of different other yeah, hosts, yeah, yeah, and he was course. very popular. And, and he, he was, was great at I it. I know that. He was great. He can do that. He could basically say, I I'm going to go, um, I want to spend time with my new wife. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm done. He could do that. He's got a, a millions of dollars. He can absolutely take his ball and go home. That's it. He'd have to repay a ton of money to Green Bay to do it, but, he would. you know. He could cut a check and then live the rest of his life and then uh, deal with whether he wants to come back then. He could pull, you know, what Carson Palmer essentially did. They have the same agent, David Dunn. Right. He could do that. He could also um, try and force a trade. Try and force a trade. I heard, as you know, I came on the show, I called in saying, uh, why would he go to Denver? Why would he go and, and go to, uh, if this is all about having some sort of certainty over his career endgame, and not being told by Green Bay when it's over, but him saying he knows when it's over in Green Bay, he'll force it. If he wants to go to a new spot, he'll force it right now. And I heard he would ha happily go to Denver because they've got the weapons, they've got the spot. He doesn't care that it's in Mahomes' division. He would actually love to personally beat Mahomes. He would love to send Mahomes to the wild card every single year. This is what I've been told. Okay, so that's another option. But one option that he is making sure is definitely not on the table for the Green Bay Packers is the option that the Packers apparently want, which is the Jordan Love option, when they want to hit that button, when they feel it's time for Jordan Love to get out there. This is what it's about. If the Packers, last year, when they chose 26th overall, Jordan Love, think that he's the next quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, and they will decide when that happens, Aaron Rodgers is here to say, I, I, I will have none of that. I'm not going to be sitting here and being the good MVP soldier trying to win championships while you decide when it's time for Jordan Love to take the reins. And his, his entire play of the MVP season might force the hand of the Green Bay Packers. Good. Now it's time for him to be the MVP somewhere else. The only way out of this for the Green Bay Packers to keep Rodgers as the quarterback of the Packers is what he's basically saying give him the contract that he wants. This could be about money, too. He's seen what everybody else is getting paid, and he's the MVP of the league, and he wants to get his because he might have already heard what Jeopardy pays. It ain't MVP quarterback money, that's for sure. <laughs> it ain't $35 million a year. Yeah, that's right. So get it while you can while you're on this green earth. And you could say, how many yachts can he water ski behind? More. Yeah, all of That's them. what quarterbacks and play. everybody wants that in their lives. And you could sit here and say, well, he's not being loyal to Green Bay. Screw that. They're the ones who made this thing what it is now by choosing Jordan Love. And Gouda Kuntz can say, you know, I try to trade up for this prospect. I try to trade up for that prospect. It didn't work out. I've been trying to give Aaron the weapons. It's too bad. You got him, Jordan Love. You made that move. You made that bet. And Aaron Rodgers is not going to lie in it and, 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 and lie in there and be told when it's time to get out of the bed. He'll let them know when it's time to get out of the bed. That's what this all says to me. Last year was the year that he was willing to play through it. That was the one year. That's your freebie. I got you the MVP. We try to win the Super Bowl. That's your freebie, Green Bay. Those freebies are over. I am not going to play here anymore without the contractual security that I get to make my move away from Green Bay when I see fit. Sort of what Brady did. And Brady wound up leaving New England because New England was just like, okay, at you know, you're 42, you're 43, man. Like, we're not going to do this now. Yeah, like, right. you want to go somewhere else and do it, then go with God. Or they hoped yeah. that they thought maybe Brady would never leave. Green Bay, you're going to try that? If Aaron wants to play till he's 43, 44, th then, then, then you could say via con Dios. But you sitting around hoping that Aaron will take you to the Jordan Love era because he's going to be a good soldier and win MVPs and try and get to the Super Bowl? No, that's over. That's what this indicated to me. Is that personal? Sure. Yeah. 
Because personally, he's put in all this time. He saw what you did with Favre and him. He knows it's still the same organization at the top. Right? I know it's not, you know, uh, Bob Harlan anymore, but Mark Murphy's cut from the same mold. He's done with it. No, you got to put the dollars and cents and the contract on the table that says goodbye to Jordan Love. Goodbye. That's the way that's I'm reading it. My tea leaves could be a little bit off, but he's basically saying to Green Bay, your plan that you hatched last year, 26th overall pick in the draft with Jordan Love, uh, I'm not playing into that anymore. You got your freebie this past year. Now you put the dollars and cents on the table. I'm not going to play this year and then get cut or get traded away. Nah, that's not happening. I'm not going to do that. You figure it out. 844-204-RICH, number to dial. Ian Rappaport's coming up in hour number two to tell me if I'm on to something or not, but I think I'm on to something. Still here on Peacock. That's the way I viewed it. And I feel for Jordan Love, man. Kid was just sitting there trying his ass off, got drafted first-round quarterback. He's not going to see the field this year. He's not seeing it next year either. If Aaron Rodgers has his say, he's going to see it somewhere else. Too bad, Green Bay. Your whole, like, it's your job to look at the next five, seven years for, for a franchise. Good. Good. You do that without me here. Without me here. All right, we got updated betting odds on this, Rich. Where will Aaron Rodgers play week one this year? Oh, it's Green Bay. Minus 220. That's... <laughs> they're not going to trade him. Denver, why? Because they're not. They can't get any value. Like, again, yeah, we'll if San Francisco that. YOLO'd it and said that they try to go for, for Aaron Rodgers third overall, right? Who are they going to take? There was no defensive player that was worthy of the third overall pick. There was no wide receiver. It could have been Kyle, it could have been Kyle Pitts. You really going to trade all? You're going to trade Aaron Rodgers away for Kyle Pitts and other first round picks, really? And then it's time for Jordan Love, now, really? You're ready to win the Super Bowl now. The coach came out and said, "I can't even wrap my head around the idea of Aaron not being here." Great. If Aaron doesn't want to play, he's the not playing. The move is to keep him happy. Every single Packer jersey that, that was worn at the draft was a twelve. We I didn't see many we are fours. We're past that point. No, we're not. Though. We're not past the point. We're not past With him that not point. being happy. You give him the contract he wants. He will come out and and he will he will just be Mr. Packer. Then when he can trade Jordan Love, it's yes, yes, you will. That's what he just got done saying. Yes, I, yeah, but that, that, that <laughs> you seems Jimmy G him. That's yes. insane. Oh, Why is no, that insane? That's insane. It's not. You thought. He was going to play along with you. And I saw that. Andrew Brandt, who comes from the Packer organization, he tweeted out, you know, you just got to manage the situation better. The problem is, man, you can't, you've got a quarterback who's so savvy and so perceptive. He knows when he's being managed. He knows it. And he knows you're just going to manage him to the point where you'll ever end up saying goodbye to him. And he wants to manage this. He wants to manage it himself. He wants to manage the organization and manage Jordan Love to a different spot. That's what this move seems like to me. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.